What's going on everyone, it's Sean here and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Air Monarch 4 in the white, black and varsity red colorway. Most of you guys probably know this as the ultimate dad shoe. It's a shoe you often find on older men or dads wearing those classic or relaxed fit denim. However, sneaker culture is a strange thing and in today's world, dad shoes are apparently the in thing. So this Monarch 4 model comes in two other colorways, so alongside this one, which I'm nicknaming the bread or the Chicago colorway, they're also available in the white and navy, as well as the triple black. These retail for a price of 65 US dollars or 85 Canadian dollars, but they're often available at heavily discounted prices at your local Nike outlet or discount sneaker stores. As uncool as this shoe appears to be, the Nike Air Monarch is consistently one of Nike's top selling sneakers in its entire lineup. Evidently, for all the dads out there, comfort is king. So taking a closer look at this shoe, first off with the toe box, you can see that the base layer of this shoe is comprised of the smooth white leather. At the very top of the toe, we have the small cutaway that exposes an under layer of white leather underneath. And then wrapping around the toe box, we have this black smooth leather. The tongue is heavily padded and it's done in two different types of material. So the bottom half is done in black mesh and the top is done in black nylon with this Air Monarch branding done in red. At the very base of the tongue, we have this small flap of leather with this red Nike swoosh. Overlaid on top of the tongue, we have these oval shaped white colored laces. Found on the midfoot of both the lateral side as well as the medial side, we have this padded mesh panel done in black. And then overlaid on top of this, we have this black Nike swoosh that's outlined in varsity red. Towards the back half of the shoe, we have more of this smooth white leather. And then taking a look at the back heel, we have this strip of black leather with the word air embroidered directly into it. And hanging off the top, we have this nylon pull tab that's done in a combination of black with hits of red. The interior of the shoe is done in black, and these come with this white colored insole that has this Air Monarch branding found on the heel. These Air Monarchs sit atop this full length Phylon foam midsole that's done predominantly in white. On the lateral side on the back heel, we have this Air branding done in black and white. And then encapsulated within the midsole itself, we have a full length airbag that runs all the way from toe to heel. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, here we have an all rubber outsole. So this is done in a combination of white and black. And then on the forefoot, we have this circular pivot done in red. And on the bottom heel, we have this Nike swoosh logo. In terms of sizing, so the Nike Air Monarch comes in two different types of widths. So the standard model is a D width, and these also come in a 4E width, which is an extra wide model. As you can probably tell, this is a very bulky shoe. So as a result, I was able to go half a size down to a size 10. To give you guys a point of reference, my foot measures as a 10.25 wide on the Brannock device, but I usually wear 10.5 in most of my Nike sneakers. Examples of shoes that I wear in a size 10 include the Nike More Uptempo, the Air Jordan 6, and the Nike Vaporfly 4%. And if you guys do have wider feet, these Monarchs will definitely accommodate that. Comfort wise, so the Monarchs feel very clunky on feet. However, there is this full length air unit and combining this with this cushion insole makes this a very soft and cushion feeling shoe on feet. Considering the price point, the leather on these shoes is not the best, so you do have to break this in a little bit, but once you do break it in, these should last you a long, long time. So now let me lace up these Nike Air Monarchs and show you guys how these look on feet. Overall, I'm really curious to see what you guys think of these Nike Air Monarchs. With the whole dad shoe trend being so pervasive in the culture these days, is this something you guys would wear or is this still considered not cool enough to be worn? So definitely share your comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. You can also check out my website, which is now up at shango.ca and give me a follow on my Instagram as well at sgo8. So until next time, Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in my next review.